Hello all, the practitioner here. Um, listen, I've been gone for about 10 days due to a um, vacation that so my girlfriend and I took to go meet my folks. But um, listen, the line is that I've got some emails and messages from all you guys right now that I'm going to be having uh, two. So I'm just housekeeping measures, and um, if you guys are uh, requiring an urgent reply back from any of my comments or uh, or the messages you sent me in private message, uh, just be aware it may take me a day or two to uh, get up back up to speed as to everything that's been going on during my absence. Okay, first housekeeping measure. Uh, I have started an experiment with, um, I started an experiment uh, using a closed deck telepathy system uh, for, so any clairvoyants, psychics, mediums, you know, people who are wanting to uh, demonstrate their capabilities and ha have the rest of the skeptics uh, off their backs or, you know, think their abilities actually are real, um, message me uh, or, uh, yeah, um, yeah, you know, send me a message with the, uh, with the headline, um, psychic testing. Just uh, send me a headline with uh, a message with the subject line "psychic testing," basically saying that you want to take part in the experiment. Uh, I require that you give me your MSN email, so this way I can add you to my MSN and we can do the experiment over that way because it, it requires real-time usage. Uh, it requires to be worked in real time, um, and I'll get I'll message you back with mine correspondingly. Um, okay, second housekeeping note: um, I've gotten a whole bunch of comments uh, before I left about the spoon bending explained video. People are are want, uh, keep asking me um, why am I not uh, moving the spoon as fast as Zen Sight process or being able to do it as many times. As I've stated before in previous videos, I have Asperger's syndrome. I do have a motor coordination issue which I'm currently working on, and um, and my muscle strength is considerably less than most other people. Uh, you know, particularly fine motor skill, i.e., gripping and bending in this particular case. So, if I, as a student, as a person with an autistic spectrum disorder, um, i.e. Asperger's, uh, can uh, do that using pure physical strength for one time, a neurotypical, such as Zen Sight Process, should be easily able to do it by muscle power alone, two, three, even four times, wrapping the spoon around itself. Okay, um, let's see, what other housekeeping issues did I miss? Uh... I think that's everything for now, but um, just to just a warning to everybody, um, there also are going to be a couple of changes to the way I do my videos. Um, number one of which I will be trying to speak slower. This is a fault on my part. It's more of a communications issue. I will be working on that. And let me think, what else? What else? Um, oh, I wanted to mention the other thing. Uh, I have actually seen some uh, recent evidence that uh, does suggest that there may, um, it's not conclusive evidence for uh, psychic uh, for psychic working and the like, but I have seen, um, uh, again, uh, one person asked me recently if I actually have seen uh, any evidence to indicate um, real psychic functioning or what have you, and, uh, you know, like real, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. A skeptic recently asked me, a fellow skeptic recently asked me if I'd actually seen any psychic who could convince me under scientific conditions that they actually had real psychic powers. Uh, to answer that question, uh, the under the closed telepathy setting, there was one guy who claimed to have been a, uh, who, he was a telepath on Yahoo Messenger, who, uh, or a guy claiming to be a telepath on Yahoo Messenger, who um, was... Uh, who was uh, he claimed that he could read people's minds for the like uh, for relationships and so forth, and was charging money for it over PayPal. So I challenged him, saying, uh, "Could you do this uh, under controlled conditions?" And the again, he was the first run. Uh, run. Um, he got uh, nine. Uh, he got uh, nine trials out of tw uh, when I when I did uh, twenty five uh, the first twenty five trial run with him. Uh, I generally charge. Uh, I generally t uh, test people only once or twice. Um, again, I'm looking for two tail. Re uh, well, considering that they're claiming to be psychic, um, I'm generally looking for one tail results uh, because of the fact that, um, well, if you're a psychic reader, you're supposed to be. Uh, you, you can't afford to be psi missing, so one tail results are are are, uh, are sufficient in this case. Anyway, he got nine hits out of twenty five, um, and I put the guy's relevant username up. Um, but basically, his. Uh, I can't remember what his username was, but uh, uh, it's in my file somewhere. But anyway, the point is that um, uh, he got nine hits out of 25 trials on a closed deck system, which is statistically significant one tail. It's uh, odds of one in 20.3, thereabouts. So, you know, there is marginal evidence that he did have ESP. Um, other psychics, if you uh, if you want to um, come deal, like I said, if you want to come uh, 
uh, dealing with this. I'm allowing you 25 trials and 25 trials only, maybe 50 if you're uh, depending on where you're at. Um, there's a reason why um, if you get an eight, uh, if you get an eight or hot, uh, if you get an uh, say eight hits out of 25, I will allow you to do a repeat run, which will be added to the database, and then you have to get nine hits or above. Because again, uh, actually, no, since we're dealing with only one tail results, you just have to repeat the eight twice. But the point being is that um, I will not allow uh, seven and below, um, seven hits and below. You don't ha uh, have psychic ability. There is another thing as well. Um, the entire database has to be cumulatively statistically significant. It's the only way for this to work. Uh, okay, let me think. What else? What else? Oh, um, another little uh, note. I've started some dowsing experiments. Um, dowsing with water. Uh, the thing which I'm going to be working with is I'm going to be working with a cup scenario, but I'm going to be um, putting a walkway over the. Uh, I'll be putting a walkway over the boxes. I've done some review recently of uh, Richard Dawkins' work, *The Enemies of Reason*, which was the, uh, which was his show debunking dowsing, faith healing, and alternate stuff. Um, I finally managed to get access to it. Um, I noticed there was a problem in his particular experiment when compared to Randy's experiment that was talked about in Arthur C. Clarke's *World of Strange Powers*. Uh, the difference was was that when Randy did it with the pipes, uh, he had a um, Randy set his up where he had a bunch of randomized, um, or he had a bunch of pipes who were which were buried under the ground, um, uh, being filled with water one at a time in a random order. Um, and what's interesting is that the dowsers were allowed to walk over the pipes and were um, able to put their dowsing rods on which one, and 22% uh, of the time, which was odds of one in a hundred, guess. Um, you know, twenty uh, correctly, twenty-two percent of the time, which pipe, which the ten pipes have water in it, and this is st uh, statistically significant to odds of one in a hundred. Now, what's interesting about this is the fact that Richard Dawkins' piece just simply had people standing beside, um, standing beside uh, the um, the the uh, well these uh, containers, which one of which supposedly had water in them, the rest of which had sand, and they got at chance levels. But what's interesting is that they did show on the episode one person asking if they could establish a walkway over the uh, over the uh, uh, you know over the canisters and uh, you know having the uh, you know having the dowser walk over them and trying to determine which of the uh, containers had water because of the fact that they said that under normal conditions that's how they found water in the ground that they were always walking over it or finding leaks in their uh, uh, in their um, pipelines by walking over them on the floor above. So this would appear uh, and. Uh, apparently, um, many similar dowsing experiments have not actually re uh, replicated that. So, if dowsing exists, note that I said if, um, and apparently Randy found statistically significant results for it in one of his $10,000 challenge cases, but he didn't find it because he lumped it in with another claim about dowsing simultaneously. So, um, if it turns out that there actually is a um, odds of dowsing for water, it would appear that a person has to stand over it. Um, it would appear that a person does, in fact, have to stand over the... Um, uh, what ha uh, sorry does have to stand over the uh, over uh, the ground where there might be water, what have you, in order to locate it. So that having been said, I'm going to attempt uh, similar experiments. Uh, hopefully, I can find a dowser in my local area who'd be willing to uh, be tested under such criteria. Um, but again, establishing a walkway so they can walk over the containers, not walking beside it. Um, you know, assuming that this is a, uh, assuming that Randy's, uh, assuming that this requirement actually is necessary, uh, I'll attempt a replication of Randy's experiment on those, uh, you know, hybridizing uh, the bit, bits of Dawkins' experiment, but, um, you know, using that requirement of standing over it from Randy's experiment, and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm genuinely open-minded on this one. Um, okay, let me think. Telepathy, clairvoyance. Um, oh, I've just completed off, um, actually, I've completed off a little while ago, uh, my fourth, uh, my third replication experiment, well, actually, sorry, it's my fourth replication experiment. I've gone through five different, uh, sorry, no, I'm on my fourth replication attempt now. I just finished off my third replication attempt a little while ago. Um, the odds were uh, one in a few thousand. Again, I've got the details in another file somewhere. I'll post them online in the next video. Um, but again, so yeah, that's that's uh, four consecutive experiment uh, experimental times where I've gotten that 22% accuracy with odds of several thousand to one uh, against chance. Um, so that does seem to be evidence for the clairvoyance. Oh, uh, one other thing, I've almost finished off the re-edits for my uh, experiment with um, uh, the the telepathy experiment I mentioned back in the look into the psychic update a while back. That will be uh, resubmitted to the Journal of Scientific Exploration soon, and um, wish me luck in hoping it gets published. Um, if the paper does come out, it'll be anomalous effects of belief of experimenters on psychic phenomena, or something like that. Uh, anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, good to see you guys again. In the meantime, toodles!